The Vandal men sent two teams packing over the weekend, including league-leading Sacramento State. Don Verlin thinks his team is playing its best basketball of the season. And it's now or never for the Vandal women as the team comes home for four of its final six. Inside the Vandals, next. Hey, welcome into another week of Inside the Vandals. I'm your host, Tom Purvis, and I'm joined by Idaho men's basketball coach, Don Verlin. Coach, thanks for being with us. You're welcome. Well, Coach, how happy were you? Uh, the two-game homestand, two big wins for you guys. How excited were you and, and your team after the two games? Well, obviously very excited. You know, it's good to get two home wins and against two quality opponents. And I thought our guys played very well with a lot of energy, and there's a lot of excitement here in the building. So it was, it was definitely a fun weekend. Yeah, how was the home atmosphere, and, and did you feel, I mean, I know there was, I think, a record crowd on Saturday night. Did that seem to add an extra punch to your guys' energy? Oh, no question about it. Anytime you can get uh, your home fans riled up and get them here, it, it really helps the energy of your basketball team. Now let's start with Portland State. Uh, how big was Connor Hill in that game? Boy, he shot it extremely well. Uh, you know, I think he makes eight three-pointers that game, and, and our guys did a great job of finding him. Our ball really moved that night. Uh, our offense was really efficient. I thought we played really good basketball. You know, when Connor makes shots, you got to give credit to the other guys. Somebody's passing the ball and somebody's setting the screen. So I thought our, our guys did a good job of, of allowing Connor to get those shots. Yeah, I was going to ask you about that. How much did Portland State, once they realized, hey, Connor Hill is on fire, how much did they seem to try and adjust themselves? And then how, how big did the execution become on your guys' end? Well, execution is always big on our end. Um, you know, and, and again, I thought our guys did a great job of finding him uh, you know, off certain screens and in transition. I thought Mike Scott did a, a, a really good job a number of times finding him in, in our transition game. Um, you know, Portland State tried to, to, to deny him and work hard on him, but, but our guys did a really nice job of, of screening and executing and, and getting kind of those shots. And obviously you got to make him knock him down, and he did that on Thursday night. 71% shooting in that second half. Obviously, Connor helps with his six for six number, but how do you guys shoot 70%? Well, we're getting better inside, and that's allowing us to, to get better shots, especially in closer to the basket, which sounds very easy. Uh, but Art Kirch has been playing really well. I mean, he's shooting, you know, we all focus on Connor, but Art's shooting about 65% in conference play. Uh, and, and that's really helped our offense. And then you guys have lead leading Sacramento State come in uh, at the time. Yeah, they were leading the Big Sky Conference. What was the key in that one for you guys? Well, first and foremost, we had to take care of our basketball. We had 17 turnovers uh, down there when we played in Sacramento. So uh, we had to do a better job of, of taking care of our ball. We did that. We only turned it over 12 times. And, and then we had to defend them a lot better. Uh, they came in leading the conference in field goal percentage offense, both two and three point uh, percentages. And it was probably our best defensive game of the year. You guys had a 38 to 22 rebounding edge in that game. Besides just that being an impressive stat, how does that begin to show up in the game itself? Well, it was huge because we got some extra possessions. We got a number of extra possessions by offensive rebounds. I thought Paul Mapawe and Art McCurchin did a great job of rebounding our misses. It, and it allows you to get extra, allows you to get easy shots. You know, one of the big plays of the game is Set gets a huge, huge offensive rebound, kicks it out to Connor for an open three-point shot. So. Uh, you know, our ability to rebound the ball really helps us, especially in the Sacramento State game. Was that the turning point in that game when Vera did pull down the board and it, it I mean, from what I hear again, it kind of ignited the crowd as well. Yeah, it did. It was, it was, it was a four-point game. Or no, it was a, I think the game was a one-point game. And it was about four minutes to go in the game. And when, when we make that play, when Sec makes that play and hits Connor. So, yeah, it was a big turning point in the game. Mark McCurchin led the team with five offensive rebounds. How big was his play in that game? Really big. He played with a lot of energy, a lot of emotion, uh, really dominated the inside. It was really physical. And, and I thought him doing that really changed the complexion of the entire game. And then the post game, you mentioned the play of Mike Scott defending uh, Mick McKinney. You know, obviously they're really good guard. What was Mike? Was he doing something differently than he did last time, or what did he do in that, in that Mike matchup? Mike did a great job that game of being disciplined, and that's what we really focused in on. That that game uh, prepping for McKinney was is you got to be disciplined. You can't allow him to, to to beat you on penetration. You can't allow him to penetrate and then step through. And he's really good at getting by the first man and, and setting somebody up. And so Mike did a good job keeping him in front of him all night. And, and that was one of the big keys of the game. I thought Mike had uh, had a tough game because he had to handle the ball versus the press. He had to guard McKinney, and 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 then he has to run our offense. And and those are that's a that's a lot to give a guy. And he did a great job in that basketball game. Late in the game, actually, just after half, you guys went up 11. They come back to tie the game. Earlier in the season, that might have been a point where you guys end up folding and lose the game, but you guys didn't. You came back and end up winning by 11. 
Well, what changed? Well, I don't know if anything specifically changed. We're growing up, we're getting a little older. We're, we're, we've been in a lot of those situations and, and I thought our guys did, did a great job of fighting together. Uh, and that's what you have to do against a good team is when the game gets on the line, you have to come up with the key stops, get the key rebounds and, and make some big plays in which we're able to do that in the Sacramento State game. Would you say, you know, compared to other two-game stretches you guys have had this season, best two-game stretch so far this season? Yeah, no question. Uh, you know, we're starting to play pretty good basketball. We've actually played pretty good since the Eastern game. Even though we haven't won all those games, we've gotten a lot better. And, and, and that's the key to this basketball team is to continue to improve daily. Uh, that's what you want your teams to do is play good at the end of February and going into March. And we're starting to play pretty good basketball. All right, we're going to take a break here on Inside the Vandals, but when we're back, we'll ask Coach about Northern Arizona and Southern Utah, and we'll check in on Ark McCurchin as well. Stick with us. We're right back. 